Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Now, this time last year, I set out to address a question many of you were asking me at the time. Should I buy the Ryzen 5 1600X or the non-X 1600? Now, the 1600 was selling for $250 US at the time, uh, while the vanilla 1600 could be had for 12% less at $220 US. The 1600 came clocked around 10% lower out of the box, but Given that it is an unlocked part, overclocking was an option and that meant pushing past 1600X performance was possible. The 1600 also came with the impressive Wraith Spire box cooler. Though AMD did try a move from Intel's playbook and sold the 1600X without a cooler at all. In short, the Ryzen 5 1600, the non-X model, uh, was a much better value option in my opinion. And looking back at that video, it seems like most of you agreed with me. This time around though, AMD seems to have learnt their lesson. It seems only Intel can get away with bending over the enthusiasts and making them all excited about not only having to buy their own cooler, but also de-lead their chips so the cooler can do its thing. So, fast forward to today, and as I said, AMD's learnt from past mistakes. This time around, the X models are much more appealing. The Ryzen 5 2600X might cost 15% more at $230 US, but for that extra investment, you do get a bigger and better box cooler, better out-of-the-box performance thanks to an up to 8% increase in clock speeds, and a possible binning process which can lead to better memory support. As I see it, this time around, both models make sense, and depending on your wants and needs, there are justifications for buying either. Having now extensively tested both models, this is how I look at it. If for whatever reason you're not planning on overclocking, then the 2600X is a sensible option. Out of the box, it's around 7% faster, and while the CPU itself does cost 15% more, if you simply factor in a cheap B350 motherboard and 8GB of DDR4 memory, then the bundle cost for the 2600X does come out at just 8% more expensive, so the cost performance ratio is much the same. You just get a bit more oomph and a better cooler. So in that scenario, I feel like the extra for $30 US is well spent. However, if you plan on overclocking, then as was the case with the first gen Ryzen CPUs, I feel like the non-X models represent better value. When reviewing the Ryzen 5 2600, for example, I recently found that it overclocked just as well as the X model. In fact, for my particular chips, the non-X model was slightly better when it came to overclocking. Regardless, so overclocking headroom should be very similar on either model. And this means the $30 US you save by buying the non-X version can go towards upgrading the cooler. Both the 2600 and 2600X will require you to upgrade the cooler if you hope to achieve that glorious 4.2 GHz overclock. For under $30, there are options such as the Deepcool Gamax 300, for example, or I also like the Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1, but of course there are loads more options to choose from. Personally, for $230 US, I'd rather have the Ryzen 5 2600 plus the Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1 combo than the 2600X with the Wraith Spire. Those willing to overclock will be rewarded at 4.2 GHz. The overclock 2600 was up to 8% faster than the 2600X. It was also up to 11% faster than the R5 1600 maxed out at 4 GHz. If you're really on a budget, it is possible to push the 2600 to an all-core frequency of 4 GHz using the Wraith Stealth Box Cooler. Here it's still faster than any 1600 and likely a better value option, even taking recent discounts and whatnot into consideration. Finally, if you've never overclocked before, then shame on you. No, but seriously, I recommend you give it a shot. It's very safe uh, and extremely easy to do with most of the motherboards out there. As long as you keep your voltages below 1.4 volts, then you'll be fine. There's also loads of overclocking guides on offer, and typically you will be able to find a guide that is tailored specifically for your motherboard. And that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content. If you appreciate the work we do at Harbour Unboxed, then consider supporting us on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Steve, and I'll see you again next time.